neglected by individuals because perhaps we don't take as much seriousness to the uh, issues of hygiene, dental hygiene, as well as perhaps going to the dentist to get yourself checked out to preempty some of the consequences of not taking care of your teeth. And in studio today, I am joined by experts in this area. I have Damaris Odulwa of Ken's We Dental, a clinical officer, as well as uh, Dr. Elizabeth Dimba from the UN Dental School. Thank you so much, ladies. Ladies, and I see you've brought us gifts. Uh, perhaps <laughs> are you planning to teach us a few things about our teeth? I'll start with you, Dr. Um, I see you have this dental model, right? And one of the areas I think the most basic when we are young, we're told about hygiene. You have mm. to uh, brush your teeth after every meal, yeah? Mm. Make sure your teeth are clean, your pearly whites, because of course, uh, it's your face, it's how you look, and also there are other health implications. So let's just start from that area of basic uh, taking care of your teeth. Mm. Um, why is it important to take care of your teeth? And then could you demonstrate to us how? to take care of your teeth. Thank you for having us. Mm -hmm. Now, um, we are here to talk about uh, health, of, health of the mouth and mm -hmm. health of the teeth. Yeah. And so that's the two different things? Y yes. Okay. Because when we're talking about the teeth, we're mm -hmm. talking about these pearly whites, as you have called them, mm -hmm. the, 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 the hard tissues of the mouth, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And those need to be kept clean mm -hmm. because the way, the best way to prevent uh, dental disease mm -hmm. is to uh, brush the teeth as frequently as possible. You've said, um, you've mentioned that you, you were taught to brush the teeth uh, after every meal. Yes. And we have a saying mm -hmm. that you brush your teeth in the morning mm -hmm. to keep your friends and that's for fresh breath. Okay. And then you brush your teeth at night to keep your teeth. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> so you don't, so, so that you don't have to lose teeth mm -hmm. uh, due to extractions and gum disease mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So you have, uh, you have uh, spotted out. our yeah. model over here. Yes. And we're going to work together with Damaris to do uh, mm -hmm. a, a tooth brushing mm -hmm. um, a tooth brushing demonstration mm -hmm. because you could have the correct toothbrush you could have the, the correct toothpaste mm -hmm. maybe the technique is not good okay. so when we are talking about health of the mouth and health of the teeth the most common uh, diseases that we face are dental decay, mm -hmm. uh, what we call dental caries, and also gum disease. Okay. And with gum disease, you have a situation where uh, frequently over the age of uh, 50, 60, people are just losing their teeth spontaneously because of diseases of the gum. Okay. And then the third problem that we face very commonly in our country is the problem of fluorosis, especially in, in areas like Kajiado, along the Rift Valley, where you see people are, 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 are drinking hard water, uh -huh. And that hard water gives you the brownish discoloration of the mm. teeth. Is it a corrosion or just a color issue? It's not a, it's not a, a, a corrosion per se, mm -hmm. but what happens is that the teeth form with extra fluoride within them. And that extra fluoride uh, makes them uh, uh, form a bit weaker than they otherwise mm -hmm. would, would, would be. Mm -hmm. And the f once you see fluoride in the teeth, it's also in the skeleton. Okay. So where we have a lot of fluorosis in the country, we should actually be talking about uh, preventive programs such as defluoridation programs. You bring the fluoride level down, mm -hmm. yes, and then you have a healthier outcome. Wow, uh, that's like very that. interesting. Yes. I've, I've never thought of it that way. And mm -hmm. we, we have a lot of conversations going green and all that but never hear about you know defluorosis or what have you called defluoridation it? defluoridation defluoridation programs wow. yes. that's very important and very very key but i'd like to uh, cross oh, to you uh, you um also can sweet dental tell us about can sweet dental what are some of the conditions that you encounter in your line of work and what are kenyans neglecting to do that is causing them to actually be victims of gen dental disease well um thank you mm -hmm. um uh, Kensuit Dental is um, uh, a project under mm. Kensuit Hospital, okay. which is also a project uh, under Kensuit organization. Right. And um, the reason why this unit uh, was set up is uh, to give oral health uh, uh, solutions to our students at mm -hmm. Kensuit Secondary School. Mm -hmm. And one of the major things we focus on as Kensuit Dental Clinic is preventive measures yes and uh, before I get on to that I mm -hmm. know that dentistry as a field has really evolved if there's okay. a, a field that has transitioned uh, in this 21st century it's dentistry yeah. from the ancient Babylonians and the Egyptians invention mm -hmm. of toothbrushes from twigs 
to the French uh, surgeon who is currently known as the, the, the father of modern dentistry. Mm -hmm. But now we have come up with um, beautiful, artistic, uh, well-furnished dental units yeah. where even doctors are dancing on TikTok for their yes. patients. And it's even gone <laughs> yeah. from dental care to even aesthetics. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. But then uh, at Kenso Dental Clinic, we are looking at do you just want to go into those well-furnished clinics? Mm -hmm. How can we uh, prevent or save you from some of the, the costs that are involved uh, oh, okay. in the procedures that are done in this clinic? Mm -hmm. So we are a well-furnished clinic, yes, mm -hmm. but we focus majorly on preventive measures. Oh, nice. The reason is because we deal with children. Yeah. The pupils at the school, we notice that, just like uh, Dr. Dimba has said, we notice that they are faced with a lot of dental anomalies. Right. And one of the reasons why they're getting this thing is because of their oral hygiene so uh kids are just not uh, brushing teeth well yes and no they are brushing but maybe they are not brushing properly uh -huh. and some of them are not brushing the right uh, with the right frequency mm -hmm. or not using the right things for brushing mm -hmm. so we are so passionate about uh, preventive uh, dentistry mm -hmm. more than curative okay. and that's why we come up with the uh, oral health education programs that we we began at our Kenswood secondary school mm. we have a team called the oral health ambassadors mm. whom we have equipped with basic skills mm. on what they need to do mm. on brushing the do's and don'ts and what they're supposed to use mm -hmm. so uh, this is a model like this is your your, your, your mouth yeah so how do we brush one of the things we look at is how do you brush okay and what are you using for brushing yes and the technique matters a lot we tell people that it is not about the, the whatever you use but it's about the, the technique okay. the magic is in the technique okay. so you need to um, brush properly you need to uh, put your your brush at least at a 45 degree angle of your okay. tooth and when we are brushing we are supposed to brush from the back tooth Mm -hmm. coming at the front up to the other end okay and then you notice that um your mouth has uh we, we have three sections that we are supposed to brush in yes, our yes. mouth you're supposed to brush the outer section mm -hmm. you're supposed to brush the chewing surfaces because right. they have grooves and fissures where foods mm -hmm. and sugary food mm -hmm. stick and you're supposed to brush the inner surfaces mm. so um in the four quadrants you're supposed to take enough time that's why we talk about have at least two minutes of your time just to just, yeah. just to brush yeah. if you take 30 seconds per quadrant mm -hmm. then that adds up to two minutes of your brush yeah and 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 it's interesting you mentioned that because you find a lot of people have healthy teeth on the front side mm -hmm. but then in, within the grooves we have the black uh, decay marks so clearly they might be neglecting that area right yes mm -hmm. so those are the things some of the things we emphasize even for the patients who visit we we take our time and just mm -hmm. educate our patients on mm -hmm. proper brushing mm -hmm. because it prevents a lot of dental anomalies mm -hmm. yeah so when uh, that is it for brushing and with with that with oral um, hygiene before you get into your your next point yeah we're going to take a short break this is very interesting stuff and i like us to take it slow so that we don't miss anything we're going to take a short break when we come back we'll still have our experts on dental health telling us how we need to be taking care of our teeth and perhaps what more you can learn about uh, that you haven't been knowing about your teeth and how to care for them let's take a short break we'll be back here on your center KTN News. Get the whole story.
protect our family from jams that cause illness when it's cold, we use Dettol Soap. Dettol Soap with Germ Defense gives you protection. When it's cold, germs are transferred in different ways. And Dettol Soap's Germ Defense protects you from up to 100 illness-causing germs. Be Dettol sure. Now introducing the new 125 gram Dettol Soap at only 20 wa michezo huu ni mwaka wangu wa 17 katika shirika hili la Standard Group tupenda michezo kwa sababu wa tupeperusha bendera ya Kenya kama mabalozi tu yani tutumia michezo kwa mabalozi sio wa nchi ya Kenya tu bali pia nje mipaka maana michezo uleta fueli uleta raha uleta bashasha mahanja ndam kwa sababu ni sampenzi tuwe makala asili sana viwanjani ndio muona karibu kuna kibaridi hapo nje lakini Nam, kusema sisi ndisi na hapa ndipo. Mimi ni wako Hassan Juma. Mwariri wa mchezo Standard Group. Salia papo hapo. KTN News. Zili zale kumanja Inset Sports Scoreline. Mm. Hapo, hapo ndipo mahali mahali. KTN News. Get the whole story. Right, welcome back. We're talking about dental health and so much is coming up in terms of dental health among young kids as well as adults and we're talking about dental disease and we're learning that your pearly whites, your teeth are different from your mouth. So there's dental health for your teeth as well as dental health for the rest of your mouth. And we're in the middle of a demonstration. I'd like you to just continue from where we left off as we have that conversation on how to brush your teeth to make sure because that's the basic, just how to clean your teeth. Thank you. Yes. So, um, yes, just a reminder that mm -hmm. um, dental health is actually the pearl of health care. The pearl of health. <laughs> pearl of health care. Okay. If ignored, yeah. then life basically will come to a standstill. Yes, you yeah. can imagine mm -hmm. that toothache can ruin your entire week or day until you pay attention to it, right? Yeah. And even quality of life is dependent sometimes on how good your teeth are. And, uh, um, Every human being who's gone through this walk of life mm. must have gotten um, concerned about their dental health yes. at some point. Yes. And this basically begins with brushing. Mm -hmm. So we have done the brushing, mm -hmm. and there are other ways we can still take good care of our teeth. Yeah. Yeah. Because Before you get into the other ways, you mentioned at some point that it's not the what you're using to brush your teeth, it's yeah. the how. Is that why, as I'm told, people... Um, old and all old, much older generations really had nice teeth but yet they were using you know sticks and all that could well, it be that they were doing the right motions well um not really mm -hmm. uh, I, I think uh, uh, one of the things that has evidently been noticed is like i talked of uh, diversifying and dynamics that have come on board mm. it's basically our diet 
Oh, okay. Yes. okay. Uh, diet also contributes uh, so much mm. to uh, the, the things that affect our dental health, oh, like sugary foods, lots of acidic foods exposed or to, when we expose our teeth to lots of acidic foods and sugary foods, mm. it, it tends to uh, affect our enamel, and mm. that's when that's how decay sets in. Okay. Yeah. So that's something we can debate about. Of course. But yeah, uh, yeah <laughs> some research still yeah. in progress, of course. Mm -hmm. So back to uh, brushing and uh, dental care. Yes. You notice that when you're using the brush to, uh, when you're brushing, the brush doesn't get in between your teeth. Yes. That is the interdental regions. Uh -huh. And that's why now we have, um, we come in with the flossing. Okay. The floss helps us to, uh, to be able to clean in between our teeth. Mm -hmm. And the flossing also needs uh, a good technique. Yeah. You get like uh, some six inches of a floss. Mm -hmm. uh, just you can roll it around your fingers, your ha fingers. And the shorter the, 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 the floss, the mm -hmm. better, the, the, the better or the easier for you to uh, go in between your teeth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So after you've used that part, you need to tie it up and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, clean mm -hmm. and clean part. You just clean in between your, your, your gums, right, your, right. your teeth. People say that uh, when I am flossing, my gums bleed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't been flossing. Mm -hmm. Your gums are bleeding because they, some so food debris. Most likely, yeah. or maybe you are doing it wrongly, mm -hmm. you're injuring your gum. That's why we talked of you also need the right technique. Okay. And also, when your gum is bleeding, that's an indicator of a problem. Mm. Because when your gum, uh, there's food debris piled up in between your teeth, then your gum gets inflamed, mm. then you want slight touch, it definitely bleeds. Okay. So if you're doing it often, that's less likely to happen. Yes, it's less likely to happen. Mm. And it's very, very important for you to floss mm -hmm. before brushing. Oh, not yes. after. Not after. Okay. So now whatever things will have uh, remained hanging on your teeth, the brush will now get rid of I them. See, I see. And it's important to, to floss at least once a day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where you can't find a floss, and that's why we talked of dentistry has really evolved. Yeah. We have an interdental brush. Oh, this tiny thing. Yes. Can yes. it really get in between <laughs> one's teeth? Yes, it does. Mm. For people who, who have a little bit of spaces in between their teeth, oh, it yeah. can go in and clean. For some people, actually, the, the that string, the dental floss, is just too small for the, the space in between their yeah. teeth. Yeah. So now we have the, the interdental brush that mm. can clean in between your teeth. Uh -huh. And you can wash it after use, and mm -hmm. maybe you can use it for a maximum of seven, five to seven days. Okay, then dispose cool. it. Okay. And also when we are disposing, make sure you dispose it. Eco uh, properly yeah. so that we don't uh, uh, dirtify the Ruin environment. the environment. Uh, what about the tongue? You, uh, yes, yes, that. yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. It's important to brush your tongue, of yes. course, because the tongue holds lots of bacteria. Mm -hmm. But the tongue is a bit tender, so mm -hmm. when you're brushing, you have to be gentle, mm -hmm. yeah, so that you don't, because some people when brushing their tongue, they feel like throwing up. Yeah, yeah. So you just have to be tender, mm -hmm. you take out the dirt, and that's it. Uh, Dr. I see tongue scrapers, how healthy are those? They're also useful, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the preference of the person, whether right. you want to use your toothbrush or mm -hmm. the tongue scraper. Mm -hmm. And I think I like very much the, the, the demonstration of toothbrushing because a lot of the times we find that people come into the clinic and instead of brushing in gentle circles like this, mm -hmm. they've been brushing like that. Okay. And there's a special kind of cavity that comes just next to the gum okay. uh, w when you have a very bad toothbrushing uh, uh, habit. Mm -hmm. habit. Mm -hmm. So it's just gently in circles around uh -huh. on the outer surface the biting surface and then on the inner surface mm -hmm. and I want to take you back to a question that you asked about the chewing sticks or the miswork yes, yes? yes. yes. now yeah. our uh, our policy is this mm -hmm. use what you have okay yes because there's in in some rural areas it is not a good policy to switch everybody to a plastic toothbrush that they cannot afford. Mm -hmm. And the miswork is something that is historically been so useful mm -hmm. that you have companies coming and extracting the sap from the miswork mm -hmm. and making toothpaste with it. Right. So we are throwing away our traditional cleaning method saying that it's no good, and but yes. now somebody is commercializing it. Mm -hmm. If the person can afford a plastic toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Well and good, mm -hmm. use that. But if it's not available and what they have is neem, you know Morobaini? Yes, yes, yes. yes. If really what they good. have is neem or the miswak, use what you have. That's okay. the policy when it comes to cleaning. Interesting. Yes. And yeah. you talked about also um, the, the contents of uh, toothpaste. 
Yes. Um, what, what should we be looking at? Because when you, we have rows and rows of toothpaste products mm. <laughs> in our supermarket, <laughs> what are we, there's some uh, are made with charcoal, others with arbor, whatever. Yes. What is it that we should be looking for? Uh, some people need toothpaste toothpaste with a bit of fluoride in it mm -hmm. yes especially those ones who are prone to developing tooth decay some people need toothpaste with a bit of fluoride in it mm -hmm. however if you're in a high fluoride area which is the rift valley and lots of uh, uh, regions in this country mm -hmm. you don't need additional fluoride okay. so the, uh, when it comes to toothpaste it's not so much the the, the 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 chemicals that are inside because there are some which are for sensitive teeth mm -hmm. and that one your your dentist might the be able to yeah, sensodyne and so on uh, your dentist will be able to advise you for that there are some which have got some antibacterial activity but for 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 uh, tooth brushing and toothpaste again mm -hmm. the emphasis is on technique technique and technique okay yes. uh, so far from that let's talk about some of the issues that we see out there Br uh, breaking of teeth find someone had yes. perfectly good teeth mm -hmm. one day they were chewing on a piece of bone mm -hmm. half the tooth is gone the tooth um, is the one of the hardest tissues in the body mm -hmm. it is designed not to break mm -hmm. so when you have breakage of a tooth it means that the tooth had been affected by decay mm -hmm. or some other process uh -huh. uh, we have a, a, an, an issue for example when you have you know the young mothers um, uh, bottle feeding babies with uh, sugary um, liquids yes. and you see for these babies who have uh, decay on Is almost black? all yeah, literally. Oh, literally all black. the teeth are mm -hmm. black yes mm -hmm. and that comes from ignorance because you're not supposed to add that much sugar to okay. to 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 what the baby is they taking. even pacifiers yes. that have holes that you can oh, put yeah. in yes those pacifiers and then the bottle f uh, feeding solutions that are very sugary mm -hmm. are a huge cause of of uh, of uh, multiple decayed teeth in in children mm -hmm. so um what Damaris does mm -hmm. is very important and that in, in, in involves also educating the mothers right. as to what to feed that little baby to preserve the teeth in the long run. So um, if mm -hmm. we understand the teeth as the first mm -hmm. uh, uh, point of digestion, um, then we will be able to take better care of it in terms of reducing the sugar that people are eating mm -hmm. and also reducing exposures to other uh, substances that can cause disease mm -hmm. and here we're talking about uh, tobacco yes. and we're talking about extensive use of alcohol mm -hmm. which are the drivers of uh, oral cancer in okay. our community okay. yes yeah. so um, y we have countries like Sweden where they are uh, they, they have banners uh, talking about being tobacco free at, mm -hmm. at this point in time but for us we are actually a tobacco grower yeah. So we consume tobacco in terms of smoked tobacco, snuff, and so on, mm -hmm. and that uh, contributes to our, our mouth cancer burden, and it also contributes to our lung cancer burden. Oh, so we, um, th that is why I said that the health of the mouth can be divided into, like for example, the, 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 the teeth, mm -hmm. and then the gums, and the rest of the mouth. Oh, so I we see. have to take care of those two parts. Yeah, before yes. I get into the work that you're doing in communities, mm -hmm. I'd like to know uh, also, um, when it comes to young babies, Mm -hmm. uh, how soon should we be brushing their teeth because we talked about the, the babies who have terrible you only just thank the heavens that at least those yes. teeth will be removed they're the milk milk teeth but then how soon should we start brushing their teeth and how gentle should we be the, um, the teeth need to start being cleaned as soon as you know those two little Teeth, okay. the little rabbit teeth come into the mouth mm -hmm. yes and you're not going to be able to go in with a toothbrush because the baby won't like it I yes know, but they, they, there's, a, there's a way that you can take a, like a clean piece of cotton and just do a gentle wipe uh -huh. and some of the mothers who come because I work at the University of Nairobi Dental Hospital mm -hmm. we treat 5,000 patients per year and just teeth okay mm -hmm. some of the mothers come in and say I'm not giving that baby sugar but uh, the child will go to the shop with the house help yes. and they are given free sweets. Yeah. Sometimes you don't have change in the supermarket and what mm. are you given? You're given sweets. a sweet and the mm. sweet goes to the child. Mm. So um, as soon as those teeth start peeping into the mouth, then you can start, you know, just cleaning Wiping it very everything. gently. And there are also baby toothbrushes where okay. they're available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and it, the high fluoride can this be fixed or is it something that is irreversible high fluoride it comes from the 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 it comes from the ground rock it comes from the soil mm -hmm. so when you know that you're in a high fluoride area because uh fixing it once the the fluorosis has uh, shown itself mm -hmm. can be a bit expensive mm -hmm. we have to look at defluoridation and there are some uh companies that sell defluoridation kits mm -hmm. and you watch what for example you're going to use for 
for cooking mm -hmm. yes and uh, uh what you're going the water that you're going to use for drinking especially yes. and then the, the 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 salty water or the high fluoride water can be used for other domestic uses washing and so uh -huh. on so it's j it, it just needs uh, one to be careful as to what type of water is being consumed mm -hmm. yes. directly okay mm -hmm. let's talk about some of the work you're doing to ensure that you're keeping up uh, in terms of people's knowledge on you know dental health well, um, at Kensuet, um when we noticed that uh, one of the things that uh, we, we pick out from the patients who are visiting uh, our unit mm -hmm. and also our students at the school, one of the things that we really picked out was uh, brushing that mm -hmm. was lacking. And this was because of lack of information. Right. So uh, we decided that... Um, we need to well, to do something this problem needs to be solved and one of the things in my 10 plus years of practice in dentistry one of the things that really breaks my heart is mm. when i have to uh, extract a little baby's tooth wow, yeah. a four-year-old coming in uh, in pain mm. and maybe uh, the tooth is badly off you really can't be able to save it mm -hmm. and you have to pull it out mm. And this tooth was supposed to serve this baby maybe for the next seven or so years. Yes, yes. So one of the things we have come up with a uh, school oral health education programs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this has uh, come in handy when uh, our sponsor, one of our main sponsors, which is Tipi, an oral health company back in Sweden, that just gives us toothbrushes to distribute to the children. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we even give them toothpastes. Okay, okay. And we give oral health education programs. We do brushing demonstrations. Mm -hmm. We give them a toothbrush. Mm -hmm. We remind them or that they're supposed to brush morning and evening. Mm -hmm. We also educate them on things that they're not supposed to do, like uh, frequent consumption of sugary foods, yes. mm -hmm. uh, good snacking habits, and... Uh, we have also in one way or another been able to reach their guardians mm -hmm. because uh, these children sometimes depend more on, on their guardian, guardians yeah. on their caregivers the mm -hmm. parents the teachers the, the caregivers and so forth so we we always inform them that let the children brush mm -hmm. as early as they have yeah. teeth in their mouth yeah. like the child is saying because you notice that the children have come in, like Dr. Terry says, they're not taking sugary foods, but, but then, then they have decay. Mm -hmm. That so means this, the teeth are not being yeah, taken the, the care of. The teeth are not being taken care of. Yeah. And then the parent thinks, they're just three years. Should we be brushing them? Mm -hmm. yes, yes, they should be brushed. Should three years. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, we have run out of time. There's so much uh, ground to cover, but so little time. Thank you so much. Uh, this you, was uh, Dr. Elizabeth Dimba, UN Dental School, as well as Damaris Odulwa, who's Kensuid Dental uh, Clinic Officer. Thank you so much for the work you're doing, and of course, for having this conversation with us. And now,